2020 was one hell of a year. I don't even think I need to go into much detail for you to know what I mean. However, it's now 2021, and the year has only begun. From economic uncertainty to the ongoing pandemic, it's a safe bet to assume 2021 won't be completely normal. But what about natural disasters? While there are certainly no guarantees, there is some evidence that the world will experience some significant natural disasters in 2021, or just in the near future in general. From volcanic eruptions to solar storms, here are five natural disasters that may occur in 2021. One thing that has come up in our research time and time again is how incredibly difficult it is for scientists to predict when exactly a volcano will erupt. However, there are several volcanoes on the planet that are overdue for an eruption. They may just have their day in 2021, or at least within the next few decades. In 2011, the Tohoku earthquake shifted the total landmass of Japan, resulting in 20 active volcanoes in the country showing increased seismic activity. Many experts believe any of these volcanoes could erupt at any moment, and the most significant one that could wreak havoc on the country is Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is Japan's tallest volcano, standing at over 12,000 feet. In a report made in July of 2014, a scientific team claimed that Mount Fuji was among the most likely volcanoes to erupt in the near future, and that could very well happen in 2021. This is a major cause for concern in Japan because the volcano is only 62 miles away from Tokyo. In the event that Mount Fuji erupts, over 750,000 people in Tokyo would need to evacuate immediately. The city would be covered in ash, and it could take years for Japan to fully recover. Another volcano to keep an eye on in 2021 and beyond is Lake Toba. This is not just any volcano. This is a super volcano located on the island of Sumatra that impacted the entire planet when it last went off 25 million years ago. And scarily enough, scientists have noticed some signs that a new eruption may be imminent. The volcano is large enough to where ash spewing out of its top would have extreme effects on the global planet. It would cause enormous tsunamis to sweep across the Indian Ocean. Speaking of tsunamis, 2021 may just be the year we're faced with another. This type of natural disaster shows no signs of slowing down, and there are various places around the world where they could potentially occur. Back in 2020, Olympic authorities in Tokyo were already concerned about the possibility of a tsunami striking during the 2020 ceremony. With the Olympics being postponed, who's to say that fear won't carry on into 2021? Another scenario involves a mega-tsunami striking in the Caribbean. Dr. Stephen Ward from the University of California Santa Cruz and Dr. Simon Day from University College London have predicted that a major tsunami could strike the Canary Islands if the Cumbre Vieja volcano erupts in the area. The volcano is big enough to where it could potentially create the largest tsunami in recorded history. They presented this theory in 2001, and the volcano is due for a major eruption. The reason for this concern is that the volcano has a fracture on its left side, making the entire mountain unstable. If it were to erupt again, this left side would instantly turn into a landslide. The landslide would fall into the ocean, resulting in the biggest tsunami anyone alive has ever seen. It has the potential to create waves of up to 330 feet tall that would travel up to 500 miles per hour. In addition to striking the Canary Islands, the waves would hit Florida within nine hours of the eruption. Now this is a worst case scenario, but it is within the realm of possibility. There are plenty of places around the world that are overdue for a major earthquake, and 2021 could be the year when many of them take place. We have all heard of the big one, and 2021 just may be the year it comes to fruition. Scientists have been talking about the big one for years now, where an earthquake with a magnitude between 6.5 and 7.0 would occur along the San Andreas Fault. In general, the earthquake would lead to millions of dollars lost. Buildings would be destroyed around Southern California, with many people getting caught in the destruction. 
There have been efforts made to try to limit the havoc, but with a natural disaster of that scale, there's only so much you can do. The White House gave $5 million to a team from the University of Washington, UC Berkeley, and Caltech. The goal was to create an early earthquake warning system that would let people know in California one minute in advance when an earthquake is about to happen. However, as of this video, the alert will only be able to alert people 10 seconds in advance. While an earthquake in California is imminent, it's not the only place where earthquakes could wreak unknown levels of devastation. Dr. Masaki Kimura has predicted that a 9.0 magnitude earthquake, similar to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake we talked about earlier, could occur in Japan very soon. It was initially predicted to happen in 2017, and while an earthquake did take place, it did not reach a 9.0 level. It is possible for a larger earthquake to occur in 2021, and if an earthquake took place off the coast of Japan, it could result in a tsunami striking Japan once again. It would be incredibly similar to what happened in 2011, and just like that event, it would lead to devastation that would take the country years to recover from. When you think of natural disasters, you often think about earthquakes, hurricanes, or wildfires. But natural disasters can come from outer space as well. A solar storm could certainly occur in 2021, and it could lead to the greatest amount of havoc and destruction than anything else mentioned here. The Sun has an activity cycle, which means it goes through periods of increased and decreased activity. Now, Occasionally, there is a major burst of solar activity that can reach Earth. It happened fairly recently. In 2012, a coronal mass ejection came through Earth's orbit. This was a solar ejection consisting of a billion-ton cloud of magnetized plasma that would create an electromagnetic pulse on all of Earth's electronics. In 2012, it ended up missing the planet, but it did hit the Stereo A space station. Another solar storm of this nature is expected to happen sometime between now and 2025. The next time it occurs, we may not get as lucky. If an electromagnetic pulse from the Sun were to hit Earth, it would result in all kinds of electronic systems going down. Some calculations report that there is a 12% chance a solar storm of this size could hit Earth in the future. Power grids would go down immediately. This would lead to blackouts occurring all over the world. GPS systems would become useless. It would take between 4 and 10 years as well as between 1 and 2 trillion dollars to fully recover from this kind of impact. Again, this is a worst-case scenario. Even if a solar storm struck Earth, it may not be as bad. However, that is not stopping major power companies from preparing for the worst, because you never know. People complain about electronics all the time, and 2021 could be the year where we're sent back to the Stone Age. Wildfires have become increasingly common in certain areas of the world, and that is a trend many scientists don't expect will reverse. In 2020, we had the California wildfire season, which so far has burned over 4.3 million acres of land. Some of those fires are still going. The California 2020 wildfire season was so large, roughly 4% of the entire state's land was burned and it has officially been named the largest wildfire season in recorded history. With the way things are trending, it's likely that places like California will continue to stay dry, if not get drier. And with so much debris scattered across the forest floor, it's the perfect brew for a massive wildfire. No matter what we do, there is no stopping natural disasters. We can try our best to prepare, and don't get me wrong, it does help. But at the end of the day, we are constantly at the mercy of Mother Nature. To check out another video about natural disasters, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.